Hello. Hi everybody. Hope it's working. This is my first time first time for Facebook. If you're here, can you let me know? Okay, that's the comments. You go there head or home hoy uh say Welcome everybody. I am actually early. Oh we Jojo have like right now I think uh, we still have three minutes before class starts. Let me get this done. Okay, I'm back. Hello, hello, Dagaho. What did Jojo up like get? Gum so oh yeah my old dad's Facebook live case at the okay get. We're connected, right? So as long as I see our messages, I know that we're really connected now. And how is everybody doing? Hello, Dagahoma. I am actually feeling a little bit tired, a little bit. I was uh, practiced uh, one and a half online classes today. <laughs> And then my girls started school after the Easter break. So, yao ti ti gui. Hi, Teresa. Oh, my sister is watching. Are you gonna practice, Teresa? Okay. How are you guys feeling? Are you guys tired? Are you guys energetic? Like, I'm at something, how am I? How gui? How would like? How king? Do you guys something, Dima? Good, good. Uh. Okay, okay. Love your vinyasa. Thank you, Natalie. Thank you. I'm really glad that you you like vinyasas. I actually really like vinyasas too. So, um, one thing like I find personally through my own practice between a vinyasa class and let's say a hatha cl hatha class, which is hatha means everything actually. But usually, if a class is kind of categorized under a hatha class, um, it's quite static, right? It's a we 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 things you still get. So I find that it's kind of, you know, when you vinyasa too much, you know, all you do is inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, and you find that you're not actually holding any of the poses, you're unable to really condition the muscle, like, and also connect to the breath, right? Because sometimes when we come into a pose, hello, hello, uh, we come into a pose, we might kind of just breathe it out and then vinyasa out, right? So today what we're going to do is that we're going to do a bit of vinyasa and also a bit of static, right? So, um, yaudi... 兩種瑜伽為主啦,兩種即有啲係vinyasa,bilingual嘅,有啲係定啲嘅,即通常佢哋會mark就係hatha咁樣就會好少會會喐得太激嘅。咁但係我發覺有陣時要溝亂呢
So I am wearing different colored pants because my sister said that the last practice was black on black and she couldn't see anything. So I'm actually a floral mat and I've got like pink tights on, <laughs> leggings. So hopefully you can see. Okay, so let's come to our mats and come down and sit down. So So sit in any comfortable position that you like. Um, you know, I'm sure that regular practitioners just kind of, if there's any modifications that you want to do in your class, meaning more advanced or modifying to a point where it's a little bit uh, more, less intense, then you guys do that, okay? I'll give vocal cues. So most importantly before we start is that you need to take care. Try your best, but do not leave, right? <laughs> Try your best to just stay with me for the next 55 minutes and let's practice together, okay? Um, if you're watching on the video and it's not live, you can take a pause and go to the washroom. But if it's live, it's only 55 minutes, okay? Close your eyes. Place your hands on your knees and take a moment to reconnect with your spine. Right, so it's quite comfortable to naturally slouch, but nowadays we really have a tendency to lose that lordosic curve in the spine. So it might feel a little bit awkward for you to lengthen up and kind of really come into that curve of the lower back. All right, so I'll see if you can just do that. So feel like you're pulling up to the sky. So someone's like lifting the sides of your head up to the sky. Feel the collarbones open. Hands are placed on the knees softly. Yeah, now let's connect with our breath. So wherever you are, exhale through the nose. Fu hei bei gao. Inhale through the nose. Four, three, two, one. Through the nose, exhale. Four, three, two, one. Inhale. Four, three. Bei gao kape. Two, one. Exhale. Four, three, two, one. Inhale. Lengthen. Three, two, one. Exhale. Soften. Three, two, one. Inhale, four. Two more to go. Three, two, one. Exhale, four. Three, two, one. Inhale, four. Three, feel the lungs expand. One, exhale, four. Three, two, and one. Come to a natural rhythm of breath. Hou ji yin tao hei gao. Yeah, join your hands into your heart center. So as this class is near the end of the day, taking this moment to acknowledge what you've done today. You know, all the stresses, all the work, you know, all the things that you did at home. <laughs> yeah, take a moment to reflect. And then commit to just telling yourself, Let's let it go. Take what we need from the day. Learn what we've had to learn. And then now we're just gonna be present. We're just gonna feel our breath and how our physical body feels and mental state is now. Okay, so, right, so joining our breath and voices together, opening class with three ohms. Take a deep inhale. Together, guys. Namaste. 
Okay, release the hands and the knees and just blink your eyes a few times and then open your eyes. Yeah, we're gonna stay seated. We're gonna come into a gentle stretch. Yeah, so I want you to bring your right hand to the left knee, your left hand behind you. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, just do a gentle twist. So <clears throat> a lot of you know that when you twist the body, I like to really emphasize how you turn the belly on the exhale, you inhale. Exhale, turn the chest. Inhale, lengthen. Then exhale, turn the shoulders, and the last is your head turning back. So you really want to build that twist from the foundation, bottom up. And holding here for just three more breaths. Sound looking cup. Make sure you're not leaning too much weight on the back hand. Good. First, turn your head, look back to the screen, then inhale the right hand, uh, left hand up to the sky, and come into a side stretch. Keep that right hand on the knee, so it's kind of letting you, stopping you from falling over. Yeah, feeling that left hip grounding onto the mat. Like, how does your neck feel if it's like really tired here? Just look down to the mat. If not, then you can look straight forward or up to the sky, whatever feels good. Now take your left hand, bring it to your knee, yeah, so you're crisscrossing the elbows, yeah, and bring your belly in and chin to the chest. Right, so you're kind of doing like a, a cat pose right here, chin to the chest. So I feel like you can touch the spine behind towards the wall, bring the chin down. Resist with the fingers, hold here. Keep breathing. Yeah, lift your chin, look forward, come into Garudasana arms, so bring your hands together. If it's a little bit too tight for you in the shoulders, bring your hands on your shoulders good, and look up to the sky. If eagle arms, reach the fingers up and hold. If you want to come into a mini back bend, you can, so you can arch back a little bit more as if you're drawing a line from the ceiling back towards the back wall. Good. And gently release. Yin Chun Feng So the other side. Right hand uh, of left hand to the knee, right hand behind you. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, belly. Follow the breath, then the chest and the shoulders. So, lengjing the sun to see how lucky that lay you hai, go go hit white chow one, fuck bow, somehow bow tow ling, hung hap inga. Right, more yet later than hango tow ling jun, right, yet low ling the sun pie. Hold you, I'm gonna fuck up two more breaths here. Get first turn the head, center the body. Get inhale your right hand up, and exhale arch over. Yeah. Okay, so make sure you're just comfortable with the head. Yeah, some days it's nice just to drop it. But when you drop it, you see my hand? Sometimes the hand drops too. So see if you can energize the hand a little bit more. Arch over a little bit more. Go, 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 go. Good. Inhale, come up. Bring your right hand to the left knee. Belly in. Curl the spine. Okay, you feel like you're pulling your lower abdomen in and hold, boy, like a turtle back. Let's go, boy, it's like a guai ho, come on, hold, boy, half a tea juice, I'm hot. Gai jo, ok, shun, 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 ge, full cup. Okay, bring your chin up, garudasana arms, bring it up, reach up, and hold. Good. If you're holding your shoulders, lift the elbows up to the sky, come to a mini back bend, hold here. Keep the breath moving, hips are grounded. For three, two, and one, and release. Take a moment, close your eyes, inhaling, and exhaling. One more time, inhale, and exhale. Good. Bring your hands to the top of the mat, step back <coughs> into a cat and cow position. All right, so just stay here, and I'm gonna swipe the con, because I can't, there you go. Okay, see cat and cow. Yeah, so I want you just to, as if you're coming into cow pose, cat pose. I always get them mixed up. How about you? All right. So, anyways, drop the belly down. Yeah, cow pose. Uh, really feel like the sit bones are opening and pressing back towards the wall. Take your hands as if they're sliding back. Yeah, and pull the chest forward and just stay here. Yeah, and you know you can say, how does my back feel today? Come to you, Dima. How might that be gun? You know, or it's okay, feel bad, feel good. Yeah, so keep the breath moving in and out through the nose. Now tuck the tailbone, exhale, and come into cat pose. Good, and hold here. Yeah, so this is a great um, asana where you, when you hold, you actually need to realize how you're able to breathe. 
right? When you're activating lower abdomen, which is Uddiyana Bandha, you've got to breathe in towards the upper rib cage, kind of uh, opening up those intercostal muscles. So see if you can breathe a bit deeper with the core engaged. Okay, holding here for just two more breaths. Good, and release. Good. Now swing your hips over to the left and just look at your left hip. So don't swing, don't move the hips too much. Just kind of wag it over to the left and look at your hip on the left. Just feel, you feel a bit of a side stretch here. Other side, just awakening the body. Good. One more time, look to the left. Exhale, look to the right, keep breathing. Come to neutral and ha, go. Sit, downward facing dog. Hmm. Okay, the modifications are, well, first of all, make sure your hands are shoulder width apart. Your feet are hip-width apart. So get in a sock with Saudi Tan Hoi, Bog Tago Fudo. It's a girl with a Sophia Hogan. You go to you, Hogan, the Cooks of Tago, and I turn to you. Again, bend the knees, lengthen the spine if you have a very tight back. And even if you don't, it's really nice. Yeah, it's nice to really just stretch the back out and hold here. Look forward, walk, 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 come to the top of the mat, and come into Ragdoll. Release the head. Get yun shin feng so with help. So go gang up. So sometimes when I tell you to relax, some people actually think this is relaxing. Um, at the moment, I want you to just make sure you're able to shake your head. Yeah, so shake it no, yes. Make sure the jaw is not clenched. Okay, and just let it hang. Your head is so heavy. Bring your hands onto the mat. Inhale, halfway lift and hold. For those that um, I had a student ask me about a slip disc, I never curl the spine up. Make sure they have a flat back when you come up. Okay, otherwise, it's totally up to you how you come up. I pull the core in, even if it's curled or not. Inhale, come up. Arms reach up to the sky. Okay, exhale, release the hands, feet together, samastitihi. Right, so tadasana samastitihi. That means basically feet together, standing in a um, straight position. Okay, so vinyasa, we are going to do three A's and two B's. So following the Shtanga lineage. Okay, so what did Joe buy a sick A, santi, buy a sick B, lanti. Uh, for the first one, if you're uh, a newbie, more than welcome just to watch for the first one, but you've got to come back for the second one, okay? Yes, namaste to he. Come into an ujjayi breath if you're familiar. Yeah, especially now that we don't have any heat in the class. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, dive down, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift. Walk back to play. Exhale, chaturanga, bend your elbows. Knees are on the floor, option. Inhale, cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Let's just take three breaths here. Sound of Fuka. Again, if you're feeling a little bit more comfortable in down dog, just find stillness in your down dog. Right? It's nice to wiggle for the first or second one, but eventually coming into a state of stillness in your downward dogs. Look forward, walk or jump, halfway lift. Exhale and fold. Inhale, arms up, dristis up to the sky. Exhale, samastitihi. Good. Let's join together. Inhale. Exhale. Belly in, guys. Halfway lift, lengthen. Walk or jump. Chaturanga. Bend your elbows. Inhale up. Take your time here, guys. Exhale down. Good. It's quite easy to rush through that chaturanga and up dog. I want you to consciously just feel and maybe even slow it down a little bit. Right? Chaturanga shanga. Say that man's you too. Okay, so try best just to really take that breath and slow down that vinyasa. Look forward, bend your knees. Either walk or jump on the inhale, halfway lift, exhale and fold. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, samastitihi. Good, now in Cantonese. Kaphe. Fuhei shen sabade ha. Sao gang go fukbo. Downward dog, guys. Hold here. I think you're feeling a little bit better now. <laughs> I'm actually feeling a bit more better. I was a bit tired at the beginning of class. 
，曲身頭骨往前，吸氣，雙腳步或者跳個行，拉長條腰，呼氣 ，Uttanasana。Inhale, arms up. Exhale, Samastiti. So Namaskar B, Biasik B, Langa round. First round a little bit more slower. <coughs> um, second round will be with the breath. Ukatasana. So touch the floor, inhale, arms up. Bring your hands together. Good, and bring your chin up to the sky. Hold it here for a few breaths. Make sure the weight is on the heels a little bit more, not on the toes. Exhale, Uttanasana, fold forward. Halfway lift. Chaturanga. Bend the elbows, option knees, guys, remember. Cobra or up dog, exhale down dog. Bring your left heel down, step your right leg forward. Warrior one and hold. Yet mosi sigyala, how ga ban dai ba dai haga. Sao jang hamai, si sing oko, look up to the sky. So the dristi is eye gaze. When we, when we change our dristi and postures, it changes the whole dynamic. Right, so if you can, just maybe listen to my cue, see if you can try changing that eye gaze through different postures. Vinyasa, hands down. Inhale up, exhale down. Right foot down first, left leg steps forward, warrior one, dristi up, hold here. Yeah, make sure you're bending the knee as much as you can. Right hip is moving slightly forward. Good. Inhale, exhale, vinyasa, hands down, bend elbows, up dog, exhale, down dog. Five breaths here, I'm gonna go full cut. Hmm. So if you can, so to bring the heels closer down to the mat, engage the legs a little bit more. If your hands are very tired, the tendency because the weight's shifted too forward, because your spine is, is kind of tight. So bend the knees and push the hips back and up. Okay, so work on the lengthening of the spine more. Lie turn to you. Bend the knees, look forward. On the inhale, walk or jump. Halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Bend the knees, Ukatasana, arms up. Hold here. Exhale, samastitihi. Are you ready? So I'm just gonna count the breaths, so try to follow with me. I think I just saw a full cup. Samastitihi. Inhale, ukutasana. Exhale. Halfway lift. Vinyasa. Up. Down. Right leg steps forward. In. One. Exhale, vinyasa, back down. Down, left leg. Inhale, one. Exhale, vinyasa down. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Five breaths. Inhale. Exhale. One. Inhale. Exhale. Two. Inhale. Exhale. Three, inhale, exhale. Four, inhale, exhale. Bend the knees, look forward. Inhale, walk or jump, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Bend your knees, Ukatasana. Exhale, Samastitihi. Okay, stay here for just two to three breaths. Making sure your body's not moving around. Don't grab your drink just yet. Standing still. Bring your hands onto your hips. Good, jump your feet hip width apart. So I'm facing you. You're still facing that way, okay? Good, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold forward. Good, hold your ankles or bring your hands to the floor. Take a moment. So this is kind of like ragdoll, right? But we're gonna hook the big toes now. Good, inhale, lengthen. Exhale and fold. So your elbows bend left and right. Okay, hold here. Eight breaths, back of cup. So that breathing you hear, right, it was kind of scaring my husband before because I was breathing like this when I was practicing. It's called the ujjayi breath, right? So it's kind of a slight constriction of the glottis and the, 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 the wave of the air goes through so you can hear that Darth Vader sound. Okay, we maybe go into detail a little bit more next time. Inhale, halfway lift, Parastasana. So take your hand, slide it underneath your foot. 
Yeah, so the foot toes are right at the crease of the hand. Okay, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Eight breaths, back up, up. Okay, this is a great pose for my um, handstanders, ones that like to do a lot of um, up or upside down poses. Possibly, you know, for me, maybe a lot of planks. Um, it really massages the wrist a little bit more. Three more breaths, Sangha full cup. And make sure if you can, strain the knees a little bit more. Shift more weight towards the toes. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, release the hands. You just step back into your downward dog. Step back and hug. I was like, do So dry breath also heats the body up, right? Those that know me know that I like to have a studio that's slightly more warmer. And so, ujjayi strong, guys. Plank position, gents are gonna hold here. Yeah, so notice my toes. Uh, try not to bring all of them back so the heel is actually behind the toes. So you can push forward and come to the tips of the toes in plank. Holding here for 10 more seconds. Not that long today. Well, at least for now. <laughs> Hold your music on. Yeah, so noticing what is it that's starting to get tired? Is it my arms? If so, pull the core in. Is it my legs? Then push the hands down. Downward dog, push back. Okay, bring your feet together. Okay, inhale the right leg up. Yoga hand team. Okay, open the hip up. hip. I just want you to stretch. Okay, so don't bend the knee. Don't let the toes fall asleep. Reach it up to the sky. Good. And then step forward. That's it. Okay, bring your left knee down. So this is a great moment for you to figure out how deep you want to lunge into your low lunge on Johnny Asana. Yet if you're a bit tight today, walk the knee forward. If you're like, I'm okay, then stay here. You bring your hands onto your knees. Good, and breathe. How are you guys doing? I wish that we can, when can I see you guys? Yeah, I really miss teaching people that are physically with me. You know, it's, I can feel your energy and everything. So hopefully you're having a good time. Hopefully you're starting to sweat like me. <laughs> yeah, bring your left hand down and come into a twist. So turn the belly first, just like we did when we're seated. Yeah, keep that knee close to your chest. Good. Okay, and reach your right hand up to the sky. Yeah, so don't let the weight open up. Pull the knee in towards the midline. So as if your left hand and your right foot are buddies, yeah? Making a number 11 and twist, hold. <laughs> Find your breath. Good. Now this time I want you to bring your right hand to your knee and I want you to drop your left hip down onto the mat. All right. So if you can see me more clearly, it's kind of like you feel the stretch more on the sides of the waist. Yeah. I'm gonna do it this way actually. Yeah, so you're doing something like this. All right. So earlier we were twisting now we're dropping the hip and coming to a twist and hold here. Look back towards your back foot and hold. You keep your left hand or right hand on the knee okay, and lift that bottom leg up. Right, so regular practitioner is kind of like a side plank, basi stasana. Okay, and hold. Press the hand down. Good. And I slowly shift your weight over towards that bottom hand Good, and find your balance and reach that leg up, coming into modified side plank. Find your breath and hold. Five, four, three, two, and with control, step it back forward. Good, come back into your low lunge and hold. Good, step back, down dog. Regular practitioners, vinyasa plank, chaturanga, up, and down. Okay, so this time I am going to step my opposite leg forward. So again, step your left leg forward, drop it down, knee in towards the chest, twist the body, reach up. Good. 
Good, bring the head back on the knee, drop the side of the hip down towards the mat and twist. Look back towards that back foot. So remember to resist with that hand, push it away and drop the, drop the ribcage down. Feel the stretch in the side of the body. Step of the leg, lift your back leg up and hold. Take a moment, figure it out, yeah? Don't rush. When you're ready, lift the foot up and balance. Five, four, three, two, and one. Step it forward with control. Drop it down, come up for a bit, and then vinyasa, everybody. Chaturanga, up, and down. Five breaths here, and we'll go full cup. Good. Step your right leg forward. So bring your back foot down for a second, and then I want you just to stretch the swords a little bit more. So do you feel tight on the left front hip? If so, just go down a little bit more, find your breath, stretch it out. If it feels better, come up, bring your hands to your knees, and push that knee or the chest away. Right? So instead of collapsing the ribcage, tuck it in and reach back. So your body's actually going straight up. At least it feels it does, right? Hold here. Good. Tuck your back toe. Inhale. Back knee up. Hold here. How how set up the Good. Bring your hands into your hips. So that's how you get look forward. Now still your dress yet one place. Mongo Moyadi. Could be fly in the wall. <laughs> Could be anything. And straighten that right leg. Good. Now the emphasis is that the back heel is super high. Okay? Back heel is super high. Exhale, bend the right knee. Sit deep. Lock that back leg out. Inhale, come up. Good. Exhale, bend. Exhale, come up. So that one more time. Exhale, bend. Inhale, come up and hold. Hold the posture. Now the hips don't move. Nothing moves. But you're just going to bend your left knee and, and hover it off the mat. Keep the right leg straight. Hold here. Good. Exhale, bend in the right knee. Hold. Inhale, come back. Straight leg, back knee is bent. Inhale, bend. Exhale, straighten the right knee, hover the back knee. Last time, <laughs> bend the right knee, and then shift back and hover for five, four, three, two, and one. Straighten both legs, bring the back foot down. Hi, yay, yay. Trikonasana. Inhale, arms open, reach forward, right hand on the ankle, left hand to the sky. If you have a block, which I do not have today, then work with the ankle, okay? If you have, and you're quite comfortable in this pose, try to bring your palm down, good, and open up the chest. So you can like a hand on the head. The jaw jaw is the jaw. The jaw is Look down to the mat, bend your right knee, and come into warrior two. So pull yourself up and hold. Arms are open. Imagining there's a wall behind you, you want to lean back against the wall. Good. Open the chest. Pretend someone's holding your right and left hand. They're pulling your body apart. Sit a little bit deeper. Get interlace your fingers behind your back. Open the chest. Open the chest. Look up and arch back. For five, four, three, two, and one. Inhale, come back up. Stay here or oh, dive down, head down. So the head comes to the inside of the right foot, hands over. Good. If the head touches, it's okay, but make sure you're not resting your head down, right? It could hover, kind of graze, but don't rest it too much. Hold for five, four, three, two, and one. Come back into warrior two, hold. Yeah, straighten the right leg, hands onto your hips. Now step your back leg forward a little bit and square the hips towards the front of the mat. Coming into Parvottanasana. So you can go hip to do your routine, deck of phone home. Yeah, so you got Sunday. Yeah, inhale, lengthen. Exhale and fold. Hands in, okay? Go halfway and hold. Hold your. Long sound down, hands in, yeah. So both elbows are pointing up to the sky. Good. If you're dropping into that hip, 
and the left hip is higher. Shift your weight forward towards the right foot and pull the right hip back. Hold here for five, four, three, two, and one. Release forward, Hunting King. If you want to drop the head, you can. If you just want to stay here and work it, taking any other variations, hold the back leg, anything you want. Hold here for five, four, three, two, and one. Inhale, halfway lift and hold. Okay, bring your left hand on top of your right foot. Okay, probably the trikonasana. Yeah, pushed down with the hand. Push down so you're lifting the body up. Now again, twist, belly, chest, shoulders, and then the right hand goes up. If you can, look up to the sky and hold. For six, five, more emphasis on the back leg, engage it, four, three, two, and one. Look down, hands down, step back, vinyasa, chaturanga. Inhale up, exhale down. Just take a few breaths here. And your left leg goes forward. Low lunge, hands your knees, and sit deep. Hello, sore muscles. Which side is tighter for you? Mine is Nibi, my right sword. Yeah, my right sword is a little bit more tight. Yeah, coming straight up. Yeah, tuck, your uh, tuck your back foot, inhale the back knee up, and hold. Yeah, so make sure the hips are square, hold here. Hands on your hip stones, that's how you look forward. So see, see, Mong Good, inhale, strain the left leg. Find your balance here. Once you have that ping hang, the balance, uh, work on the back heel coming higher. Yeah, so the back leg is like inner rotating and shooting forward as the left hip pulls back just a, a little bit. Hold here. Exhale, bend the knee. Inhale, come up. Exhale, bend the knee. Inhale, come up. Exhale, bend the knee. Inhale, come up and hold. Yeah, now hover the right knee. So bend it a little bit and hover. Good, bend into the left. Inhale, come up, hover the back knee. Inhale, e exhale. Inhale, come up. Exhale, two more times. Inhale, exhale. Last time, and hold for five, four, three, two, and one. Straighten the leg, bring it back down. Open the arms, trikonasana. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, hand down, right hand up to the sky. Again, if you put the palm down on that side, this time bring it down too. Make sure the right hand is reaching up. Hold. Hold for five, four, three, two, and one. Look down, bend the knee. Ah, Mosi Sigi, warrior two. Hold here. Interlace the fingers. Squeeze. So you go lay ho koi. If you're tired and you don't want to do it, just try to do it. Okay? Only when the mind's like, you've asked it two or three times, exhale, fold forward. And it's like, okay, after the third time, you're like, oh, dude, I don't want to do it anymore. Then you come out of it and breathe, okay? But if it's just the mind saying, stop it, don't do it, let's override it for the first question and the first sense of doubt and go deeper. Five, four, three, two, and one. Inhale back into warrior two. Yeah, straighten the left leg, hands onto the hips. Step your right leg forward a little bit. Square the hips, standing up for Parvottanasana. Then move back a little bit for you guys. Yeah, take a moment, look forward. Yeah, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, halfway. Yep, one. So great place to say, oh, are my shoulders high? Is it yao xiao zan high go? Pull it in. Yeah, right, when you pull, when you shift the weight to that left foot and pull the left hip back, you'll feel that extra stretch behind the hamstring. Okay, so just work with it and breathe for five, four, three, two, and one. You can bring your hands down, come into the pose, drop it, take the same variation you did on the other side, and hold here. One more breath. Inhale, halfway lift. 
Get length in your spine, right? Please use a block if you need to, okay? If you don't have one like me, use your foot or just go get one. Get a book, get your dog, <laughs> anything you need. Twist the body, get it? So, toe somehow, bow toe. Draw some hand in, then the left hand goes up. Pavrita means twisted. Trikonasana means triangle pose. Hold, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hands down, let's vinyasa, chaturanga. Inhale up, exhale down dog, how goes it? Good, hold down dog. Turn the air out. Hold on, trade you off. Three more breaths here. Let's check the time. Okay. Step your right leg forward. Good. And bring your back knee down. Okay. Keep your hands on the floor. Actually, bring both hands to the inside of the foot. <laughs> so keep your back foot pointed. How good it? Can you see it? I'm going to move forward a little bit so make sure you see the foot. Okay, good. Now bring your palms down as if you're planking. So 10 fingers are spread wide and pressing down. Good. Inhale, lift your left knee up and hold. So it's the top of the foot. Make sure the ankle is now collapsed down, okay? Inner spiral, both legs and hold. Hold here. Good. Make sure that the core is pulled in. Good. If you can, bring your right hand on your knee and hold. If you can, bring both hands to your knees and hold. We are just doing one set here, guys. If you can, bring your body upright and hold. Get last part, arms up to the sky. Breathe for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hands down. Good, step back into plank. Get no need to vinyasa. Holding plank. Yeah, lift your left foot up, step forward, bring your back knee down, other side. So make sure the back foot's pointed, inhale, lift up, and hold. So, okay? Yeah? It's like inner spiral both of your thighs. Left hand on the knee, stabilize the back foot, strong back foot. Okay, when you're ready, both hands. Going, Ooh, how do I feel? Ah, I feel the back leg strong, then come up. Upright and hold, inner spiral, arms up, hold here for eight, seven, five, four, three, if you can't go deeper, two, and one, hands down, step back into your plank, and hold, good, uh, come straight into an upward facing dog, get it, bring your knees onto the mat. So leg or shank, I say, set up go by the heart. Take a look, I hit my go photos. Your feet are hip with apart. You gotta press the ground away. Open the chest. Hmm. How does your back feel? Oh, this feels really good. Hold she full. Okay, so let's see. Bring your feet together. Good and hold. So right now, your shoulder is right above the wrist. Okay, keep it there feet together. Now inhale, lift your knees off the mat. I don't know if you can see, but they're not touching the mat. Hold here. Yeah, make your legs super strong, guys. Good. Now pull the core in and keeping the tops of the feet down, come into plank and hold. <laughs> Did you hear my stomach? It was like, girl. Yeah, I'm hungry. I eat after this. Hold here. Legs are strong. Tops of the feet. Five, four, three, two, and one. Upward dog. So keep your legs hovering and open the chest. Hold here. Just one more set left. Chest moving forward. Legs are super strong. Hold for five, four, three, two, and one. Plank. Hold. Tops of the feet. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Keep breathing, guys. 4, don't give up. 3, 2, and 1. Down dog. Roll back 
and five breaths here, or come into child's pose. 下九式或或者二同式都得，五個呼吸。嗯。Hold here. Can everybody bring your knees down and sit up, Choi Sun? I'm sweating so much. Okay. Now we're gonna come into the low plank series. Um, I want to make sure that you guys see, so I'm gonna move it like this. See? And okay, I'll be side. So kneel down on your mat, facing the front of the mat. Reminder that when you come into low plank. Right, your elbows are not wider than your shoulders. Okay, so this is the low of the shoulders. Your elbows will not be wider than your shoulders. Right, so when you're doing this, make sure that you can bend your elbows. Okay, uh, interlace your fingers, and when you do, your pinky fingers, just like Shoshana, are parallel, like this, yeah, and not crisscrossing. Because sometimes if you put too much weight on it, it actually kind of hurts, like a little char, like a Charlie knuckle. Charlie, what's that? Charlie horse. Yeah, hold here. So let's set up the hands. <coughs> Interlace. Are you ready? Okay, my head is here. Good. And then slowly straighten your legs and hold, holding low plank. My clock doesn't have a timer, so we're just gonna go by Margaret time. Okay, keep your breath moving. I believe that you can do this. We're not going to hold it that long, so stay with me, okay? Stay with me. Okay. Now, right now the shoulder is perpendicular to the elbow. I want you to go forward, good, and back. Three times, forward, and back. Two times, forward, and back. Last time, forward and hold, hover for five, four, three, two, and come back. Good, come back into plank. Oh, and Adho Mukha Svanasana, Downward Dog. Good. How did that feel? Good. Want to do it again? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I can't see the comments. <laughs> But I think like a sound jungle. I think that you want to do it with your heart. Okay, so set up. Last set. So uh, keep your toes tucked and plank. Hold. Yeah, let's do a variation this side. Okay, let's do a uh, low side plank. Roll to the outside of the right foot. Good. Open the palms of the right hand on the floor and bring your left hand to your hip and hold. Legs are strong. Good. You can emphasize the hips a little bit more by pushing them up to the sky. Feet are stacked on top of each other. Okay. Okay. Come back to low plank. Take a moment. Flip it. Hold. Feel like there's something in between your ankle, and you're squeezing it with your ankles. Okay. Come back to low plank. Only three sets. Okay. Forward. Hold. Back. Forward. Hold. Last time, forward hold for five, four, three, two, and one. Plank and down dog. Whoo! There will be a horn. Will be a gun. Good. Hold here. Yeah, five more breaths here. Yeah, walk forward to the top of your mat. Come into ragdoll and hold. Okay, we're just gonna do one standing. So inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands on your hips. Inhale, come up. Good. Feet together. Samastitihi. Take a moment. Okay. I am going to do the pose facing you. Okay. Bring hands onto your hips and lift your right leg up. Yeah, go, 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 and hold. Find your balance. Good. If this is enough for you, you can just stay here, okay? Otherwise, interlace your fingers and pull the knee up towards the shoulder. And hold. Now take a moment to think which is my left hand, which is my right hand. Lama lam bing hua jiao sao bing yao sao. Okay? So bring your left hand to the outside of the foot and bring your right hand to the inside of the foot and hold. Just balance here. 
Good. And when you're ready, extend it forward. Find your dristy point. Your modification is holding the knee. Good. Then everybody, release your right hand back and reach back towards the wall. Hold for five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it back, bend the knee, and release. Good. Standing samastitihi. Two feet, other side. Lift your left leg up and hold. Joga gato. Good. I'm going to do it this way now, so I think you've got the hang of it, right? Good. Hold here. So, so the drishti is still in one place, okay? Interlace, pull it up, and hold. Lengthen your spine. Good, right hand to the outside, left hand to the inside. And then this is a very important part of the pose. You didn't see it earlier, but you need to stand straight. Okay, so, Okay? Extend it forward and hold. Good. Reach your left hand back. Find your twist. Five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it back. Bend the knee and release. Samastitihi. Come to the top of the mat. Vinyasa back down. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Halfway lift, jump back or walk, chaturanga, inhale up, exhale down. Get everybody to come into child's pose, yi hong say. Toes together, knees apart, reach your hands forward and the forehead onto the mat. We're staying here for about, um, I guess, eight, eight to 10 breaths. Okay, you can have the option to do puppy dog. So legs are hip-width apart, lay toy jo yi hong se, or ho yi jo, puppy se, okay? Sao hen xin, then drop the chest down. So make sure the hips stay perpendicular to the knees, and the chest is down, chin is forward. And you can have the option to hold here for about another six breaths. Last three. Everybody come back up. Good, and come into a seated position. Oh. How are you guys doing? Oh, I'll pretend that you're, you're okay. Okay, so come into a seated position. Good, and bring your right leg into half lotus and your left leg extended forward. So I'm going to face you now for these poses. Uh, so come into Jhana Shashasana as your option. Okay, we're just going to do one forward bend. You have the option to bind. If you have half lotus, your right hand goes behind you and you hold the toe, okay? If you're almost there, the toe is just right there and you just can't reach it. Uh, a really key important thing is that you can, uh, if you see me from the side, you can go to Right, you need to straighten your spine. Right, when you straighten the spine and you tilt the pelvic forward a little bit, you actually have more space, as opposed to if I were to curl the spine. Yeah, so work on that. Ardhavada Padma Pachimo. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold forward. Good. Or take Janu Shasana and fold forward. Yeah, not much emphasis on what you should do. Just relax into it when you fold forward. Yeah, so, if you're a regular practitioner and you know you want to lengthen, chin to the knee, chin to the ankle, anything you want to do, okay? For five, four, three, two, and one. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale and release. Switch sides. Uh, for this, you don't need to be exactly the same as the other side. If you want to do lotus on this side and not the other side, then that's just how you feel today, yeah? So go ahead and do any option. Janna Shashasana or Half Bound Lotus Forward Bend. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold forward. You're taking 
five to eight long, well-deserved breaths in this forward bend. Yeah, and for those that are in jhana shasana, make sure that you want to slowly work towards taking that ch middle of the chest down towards the knee, as opposed to flopping to the inside of the foot, okay? Inhale, halfway lift, exhale and release. Okay, we are gonna come into thread the needle. So lie down on your mat. Okay, do you guys wanna do some core? Come to the phone. Do you guys wanna do core? Yes, no? I'm gonna say yes if you don't answer in five, four, three, two, and one. No one's answering me, so we're gonna do core. Okay. Da Let's do it this way, okay? Bring your elbows down. Slide your, your fingertips kind of like at the top uh, of the buttocks. Your elbows, shoulders are above the elbows. Lift your feet up to the sky. So go ahead and see me. Good. Are you stuck? Hold here. And make sure that your legs are strong and engaged. Good. Hold here. Let's swipe the comments away. Okay. Hold here. Good. Now drop your right foot down. Hover it off the floor two inches and hold. Now, once it's hovering there, leave it there and focus on this left foot. Reach it up to the sky and hold. Chin is down, looking towards that right foot. Good. Right foot back up. Flex. Left leg down. Hold. Good. Now focus on that right leg. Press it up to the sky. Pull the belly in. Inhale. Come up. Exhale. Both feet down. Hover off the mat two inches. Hold here for five. Four, moving the ha. Three, two, and one. Slowly come up and hold. Right foot down, hover. Okay, this is the last set, okay? Now inhale the right hand up, exhale, cross it over. Good, and we're gonna pulse for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch, right foot up, left leg down. Inhale, left hand up, cross it over, pulse. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Inhale, both legs up. Oh, hover, hogoi, hover. Lift your hands up. Good. Hold for five, four, three. This is the last one, so let's hold it for ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and lie down. Fandai. Hogoi, Supta Bhadakanasana. Gavanda Hamai. I'm gonna go this way. Stay in Sukta Bada Konasana. Let's see the time. Okay. Holding here. You bring your right knee over towards your left knee. Good. And then reach your right hand across. Hold here. Come into a supine twist. Come back to center, switch sides. Come back to center, give your knees a hug. Good. Now I'm gonna slowly bring you down into Shavasana. If you wanna do one more pose, you can go ahead and do that. Otherwise, let's come into Shavasana. You wanna draw a dong jo hosan jo, liga hoi jo, daiko bazi sako fuka, you go pies a fun and do Good. In Shavasana, your feet are as wide as the mat, hands are by the sides of the body. Stay there, close your eyes. Okay, so the body deserves this resting. As you lie down, relax your jaw. Feng Sung Hapa. Fully surrender your weight down onto the mat. Yun Chun Feng Sung. Chun Sun Ge Chong Nan Lok Sai. Just 
coming to a very natural rhythm of breath. You know, if it's still a little bit quick, then that's totally fine. You know, just breathe through the nose, inhaling and exhaling. Right, get your yoga bag on. How high? But go like a whole team. Get full cup. Right, don't say what you enjoy. Cup high, how high? Full high, how high? Right, how deep? How high? Right, hold on. Can we do a little, little don't? Can you get? Just go. 好自然嘅嘅速度就得噶啦。So as you lie here in Shavasana, the only movement that you should really feel is that belly lifting and rising with the breath. So 你唞緊氣啊，你瞓喺度時候，你只不過係個肚向上向下，跟住個呼吸。And as we lie here, feeling the different channels of the body, right, or physically just feeling the hips relax and open, feeling the shoulders relax and open, feeling the center of the palm heavy and your fingers naturally curled, relaxing down onto the mat. And as you breathe in and out, feeling that fresh energy, energizing. You've worked so hard. You've strengthened your body. You stretch your body. So you're really letting your body relax now, and the benefits will slowly absorb into the body. 翻向到嘅时候，好地感觉你全身放松，或可能你个膊头、hip 个位置有少少打开嘅感觉。咁你俾傳統嘅好處，個身體吸收。You are more than welcome to stay in Shavasana. If not, just slowly turn your head to the left and right. 慢慢擰住個頭向左向右。Right, 我或者你想繼續打休息就可以得，你繼續瞓喺度。Then if you are moving your head. Come back to the center and slowly roll over towards your right, and come up into a seated position. Mama, chow hisan, the chow handle. Keep your eyes closed. Lengthen your spine. Exhale, soften your face. Hands into your heart. Sun so by sun, how jung gan. Take this moment to thank yourself. And also taking this moment to acknowledge your body, being grateful for what it's done for you through this through this whole practice. So it's a blessing. I don't feel hate, right? What we have here on our mats. Let's close together with one ohm. Inhale. Oh. And Namaste. Thank you guys. Thank you for practicing with me. Thank you for being here. I'm gonna come back and. How are you guys feel? Homa. Are you guys still around? You go lay down, fun gang gao le. If you're still in shavasana, you can just turn it off. Yeah, and then later, mo joy, mo joy, tai ngao gong ye. Namaste, familia. Thank you guys for coming. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so um, I think I'm going to get the hang of this on Facebook, right? No one's rushing me. Um, 
you're sweating, Joelle. <laughs> That's good. I'm sweating too. Okay, so uh, I think Facebook will probably be quite good so then I don't get cut off. The last time I did a live, I got cut off. Thank you, Stephanie, for coming. Have fun at work. I know that you're going to go to work now, right? Okay, namaste, namaste. Okay, so um, uh, I will see your comments later, even if we stop the live. So drop in a note. Uh, let me know how you feel. If there's any um, anything concerning your own practice that you want any advice on, you know, I will share whatever I have in my brain, in my heart, right? And if I don't know the answer, I'll be like, I don't know, right? So let me know if you have any questions, okay? And, or if you have any certain practices. Next, the next class is a yin yang. Um, so it'll be a bit more restorative. Um, so hopefully you guys will enjoy that too. Okay. Thanks guys. I'm going to go. Bye. Have a great evening or morning or afternoon. Bye-bye. <laughs>